Welcome to TVN Sports Update. The fourth edition of the Nigerian Long Tennis League, sponsored by the Nigerian Communications Commission, held in Wari Delta State, was on Sunday, won by Team Anambra with a score aggregate of 6 to 1. The promising long tennis event that was held for the first time in Wari featured a total of 12 teams, identified as blue group and white group, drawn from the six geopolitical zones of the country. Mr. Duke Onojede, the tournament commissioner who came all the way from Lagos while addressing the media, expressed confidence in all the teams that participated in the event. He described the players as young and energetic youths that are bound for greater exploits in the game of long tennis in Nigeria and beyond. As the Enugu Rangers International Football Club battles Kano Pillars of Kano State in this year's ITO Federation Cup Finals in Asaba Delta State Capital on Wednesday, Governor Ifani Ugwani of Enugu State has called on all fans of Rangers and the Igbo Nation to offer special prayers for the club's victory at the tournament. Ugwani also appealed to residents of Enugu State and the entire Southeast geopolitical zone, including traders in Onicha, Enugu, Aba, Asaba and others to come out en masse at the Stephen Keshi Stadium Asaba to cheer the flying antelopes to victory. The governor noted that Enugu Rangers is not just an iconic football club but also a national brand and one of the oldest clubs in Nigeria that has remained in the competition and has equally continued to receive the admiration of its staunch supporters across the country. Stressing that Rangers FC belongs to all of us, Ugwani pointed out that it was because of God's grace and the people's unceasing prayers, goodwill and support that Enugu Rangers FC under its administration won the 2015-2016 Nigeria Professional Football League trophy after 32 years stating that the club's victory next Wednesday will be another milestone achievement. Four Nigerian female wrestlers have arrived at the venue of this year's World Wrestling Championships which, will began, which began on Sunday in Budapest, Hungary. The team boasts of three Commonwealth champions, Odunayo Adekuroye, Aminat Adeni, and Blessing Oborududu, as well as Commonwealth Games silver medalist, Blessing Onyebuchi. World Wrestling silver medalist Adekuroye will compete in the 57kg, while four-times African champion Adeni is six, a medal in the 63kg, as eight-times African champions, Oborududu plans making podium in the 68kg. And Onjebuchi will do battle in the 76 kg. President of Nigeria Wrestling Federation, Daniel Igali, who is in Budapest for the United World Wrestling Congress, said the wrestlers will live in batches to Hungary. He said the Borududu and Onyebuchi 76 kg will compete tomorrow and Wednesday, while Adekure and Edeni will compete on Thursday and Friday. President of Nigeria Olympic Committee, Engineer Habu Gomel, has described tomorrow's investor of new patrons as a sure way of bringing light into Nigerian sports. Those to be honored include the national leader of the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, and one-time governor of Lagos State, Senator Ashiwaju Ahmed Tinubu, His Royal Majesty Oba S. A. Elegushi, former governor Delta State, Emmanuel Udwahan, Chief Mrs. Kofuorola Adejoke Ngokedi, and Sir Mark Wabara. According to Gumel, these are heavyweights who have accepted to be patrons of the NOC. He said they no doubt are going to bring their wealth of experience to the sport. The Nigeria Olympic Committee, according to Gumel, is concerned about the welfare of Nigerian athletes who toil day and night to bring glory onto our fatherland. Barcelona centre-back Gerard Piqué has insisted that the Spanish champions have enough cover for Lionel Messi as the Argentine prepares to spend three weeks on the sidelines. Messi fell awkwardly during Barcelona's 4-2 win over Sevilla on Saturday night and Thess later revealed that the South American had fractured his arm. The 31-year-old will miss Barcelona's Champions League game with Inter Milan on Wednesday night in addition to the El Clasico next weekend. But Pico said that the Catalan outfit cannot allow his absence to affect them psychologically. Messi has scored 12 times in 12 appearances for Barcelona this season. That is Stevian's sports update. Thanks for watching. I am Idoko Emmanuel.